Alright, these are the settings you should use for Final Fantasy X. If you have a s slow to or low end to medium end computer or laptop, I highly recommend these GS and SPU uh, um, plugins. They're very good, especially this sound one. Uh, if you have a really low end computer, use native. And um, you can increase anti-aliasing a little bit. I I don't need that. I just do two times. You don't want to allow 8-bit textures. I know a lot of people in their config videos say use 8-bit textures, but Final Fantasy X and maybe some other games that'll slow down your game when you're in menus and stuff. Also, if you have a integrated or just a really old graphics card. You want to do skip draw to one, and what that does is it removes a layer of graphics detail. But if you just have it at one, it's not going to be that big of a deal. You'll still see all you need to see, and you won't really notice a difference, except for an improvement in performance during spells such as Demi or Hellfire or even Fire, uh, or even just traveling and in places that usually lag. Now you just want to have these at linear and direct sound. Uh, you can increase it a little bit I guess if you want to have better quality but uh, I can't really notice much of a difference. Now the reason why you want to use this one over the regular SPU2 is because in the regular one you get like clicking or cracking audio whereas the R4600 wouldn't nah emulation settings you wanna have clamping mode for EE slash IOP on full and what that does is that'll fix backwards facing characters I know a lot of people have had that problem and on clamping mode for VU uh, do extra and that'll fix um, loading screens that won't load, like after the sending in Kilika. Uh, just keep that at default, that too. Um, just have the recommended speed hacks. Unless you have a really slow processor, then maybe up these by one. At most two for the VU stealing, but I would not go any higher than this. I don't need it. So I'm just going to leave it with the recommended. Even if you have a dual core, I think you should do MTVU because I have heard in some cases where if you have a dual core processor, it still gained a little bit of speed with this. So just have it checked just in case. Oh.